Hi guys and welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. So before we get started, let's check the old sponsor, see if we've got any more. Um, mm, nope, no more. Right, let's get back to the next event. It's the Brenna Pass Open, it's in Bergsea, and it's a carp event. I've got all three carp tackle boxes already made for silt, gravel and weed. So we should be good to go, I think. Ooh, which location to pick? I normally have a bit of success with the middle one at the bottom, so I'll just stick to that, I think. You join us here on the water today as the competitors are getting ready for the start of this exciting event. We are While currently we in the carp to tour in 100 points, so hopefully we can get some more today. I do like fishing next to this tree. So I think that's where we'll claim our peg. Run over this area here. If we can find one, there we go. Let's get all three rods into the water. I'm just using pop of tiger nuts as per usual and size two hooks. Right, is it gravel in here or is it silt? There was a little bit of weed there. Um, yeah, let's put the gravel box on. Right, let's recast them then. Finally struck gravel here. Right, let's get either two in. I really must write down what each lake is. I mean, we're really probably wasted nearly a minute here doing this. Oh, number one's got a bite already. Nobody's got anything on the scoreboard so far, so if we could catch this one, we might go straight into the lead. That'd be so cool this early on. I'm wondering if this is a good size, taking a bit of reeling in here. Right, finally getting some way, starting to get him reeled in here. I do have 30 pound lines on these rods, so I'd be pretty devastated if they do snap. Let's get a glimpse of this guy. Ooh, could be a nice size here, actually. Maybe 15, 20 pounds? Really pulling on the old line now. Is he going to give up the ghost? Do I think he is? He's still fighting it. And at last we've got him. He's a chunky little fella. What sort of weight we got here? 29 pound, 12 ounces. Wow. That's a really nice start of the day. And it takes us straight to first place. Hopefully we should stay there now. Yeah, that's such a good start of the day. Oh, we're back in the reeds again. Right, there we are, it's in the gravel. Now let's get rod number three in the water as well. I think we'll have it slightly near this tree. Oh, I don't believe it, we're in silt. Reeds, there we go, oh, gravel. Nope, we're back to silt. I don't think there's any gravel on this little bit, really. Yeah, let's go a little bit further left. See if we can hit some gravel. You couldn't write this stuff, could you? I changed all the rods for gravel and now we can't even find any. Yeah, let's do a recast over the other side. I'm sick of looking for gravel on that bit. Oh, come on. Reads again? Really? Silt. 
Oh, this is beyond a joke now. How can we not find any gravel? Yeah, let's cast a little bit nearer number one now. Hopefully there's going to be some gravel here. <laughs> There we go, finally we've hit gravel. Right, we've got all three rods in the water now. It's only took us nearly five minutes. Since it's got a bit quiet, let's throw some Madoffy in there. Hopefully, we'll get some nice big fish. And the lead's really being cut second and third spot, well up to 20 pounds. Yeah, we could do with catching a fish right about now. So what do you guys think we're going to catch today? Um, at the start when we got that nearly 30 pound carp, I was thinking, oh, this could be a 150 pound day. But since it's gone so quiet, I'll settle for 100 right now. Since we don't seem to catch anything, I'll change all the rods to reeds, I think. Try something different. Oh, seriously, come on. Before I couldn't even find gravel. Right, there we go. One rod in the reeds. Just see the two to do now. Oh, that's more legged. We've got a bite and number one straight away within seconds. Let's get the other rods in the water first, though. And he was very kind there. He did wait on us, so let's get this guy reeled in. Second spot really breathing down our neck now. Just two pounds behind us. Don't let me forget, I've got to get them other rods into the reeds. At the moment, they're just in the water. What we've got here... Is that a mirror carp? Maybe a ghost carp? Ah, and unbelievable, you've got a bite on number three as well. Oh, this is carp fishing at its finest. Multiple bites on at the same time. It wasn't even in the right location. I think it had it in the silt. Right, we caught this guy in number one. What is it? Oh, this could be a nice size. 25 pounder. That should extend our lead nicely now. Yeah, we're up to 55 pounds, six ounces now. Right, let's get number one back in the water. And then we'll start reeling in number three. Oh, he's really stretching that line out, isn't he? 66 yards away now. Nearly 70. Oh, straight away, we've got a bite on number one as well. Uh, right, we've got to reel this guy in first. Somebody remind me to check on line two. I'm not sure if I did put that in the reeds. I think I just put it in the water. Right, can we get this guy in? It doesn't look massive, but who cares? It all adds to the pot. Not a bad size mirror carp there. 16 pounds, zero ounces. Very nice. What's that take our lead up to now? 71 pounds, five ounces. We'll get this rod back in the water. Then we'll start reeling in the other one. Got a nice chain going now. Oh, it reads straight away. Fantastic. I 
found this fish. I think it's in another state, 129 yards away. Is that another one beeping as well? Is it number three beeping again? Right, we're slowly making headway now. We're going to down to 100 yards. Yeah, we're reeling them in good now. Definitely another rod going there. I think it is number three. I still haven't checked on number two, have I? Oh, please, somebody remind me. I can't forget. I think I may revise my target back up again. I know I said £100, but yeah, it's looking really good for that now. We're just, just over halfway and we nearly got that already. As long as this fish is another good £20-pounder. So I'm going to guess, ooh, I'm going to guess 175. I'm going to be ambitious. I think this is a Koi Cob, actually. And I've virtually pulled that gag out of the water. Awesome, nice colours on this one. What total weight are we looking at here? 17 pounds, 15 ounces. What's that going to take us to 80 something? 89 pound, 5 ounces. I'll lead stretch to now. Oh god, somebody with good math skills here. 57 pounds, I think. If I'm wrong, don't shoot me. Right, there's number one back in the water. Let's have a look at number three here. At the moment, it's looking really good. We could lead this event from the start to the finish, which hasn't happened so far. Oh, I think we've got a bite in another line as well. Yep, I can definitely hear beeping. Got to be careful here. Just don't get this line stuck on the rocks of the tree. I've actually had that happen to me before in this lake. Ooh, getting pretty close to reeling this guy in now. Anybody see what it was? Do you think we'll get any named fish today? I mean, I haven't caught one for quite a while now, actually. And line number one, that's going mental. One more good pull, and there we go. He's out of the water. What have we got? Maybe another £20 here, guys? Place your bets. What is it? £27, 12 ounces. Wow. Really nice size. Right, we'll get this rod back in the water. We'll start at number one, and then we'll admire our lead, which is now £117. Exactly. So we're a good £80 in the lead. We're definitely not going to lose this event now. Makes you wonder if I didn't have the wrong setup right at the beginning where I picked the gravel rods. I'd pick the reed one straight in. What, what sort of weight would we be looking at? Well over 200, I think. With a bit of luck, 200 is doable. I mean, what, three or four 25 pound fish, and we're there. We do have still, what, seven minutes to go? Hmm. We might have an outside chance of that. Finally got a glimpse of the guy. I think it's in the mirror car. He's stretching our line just that little bit. Makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. Oh, I thought I nearly had him there. Oh, what a day is fishing we're having now. Number three is buzzing as well. We are just totally machine gunning these fish at the moment. One after the other. Right, we've reeled this guy in. Oh, it's a leather carp. We haven't got one of them today. £28.13 ounces. Whoa, our lead must be monster now. 
145 pound, 13 ounces. We're only a pound shy of being 100 pound in the lead. Oh, come on, I can't find any reeds. Silt, gravel, yeah, let's just recast. Right, this tank, can we strike gold or reeds, rather? There we go. Let's start working on number three, then. Oh, before I forget, number two, let's get that in reeds. I think it's been sitting here all the time in silt. Oh, number three's really doing my head in right. It's definitely in reeds this time. Wow. Number one's going now. Um, can anybody lend me a hand? I've got to wind two in now. We're under the old five minute mark. I think this is another leather carp. I think I saw a big spot on its head. And number three. Yeah, that's off into another country. It's on its holidays. And would you believe it? Straight away, number two's got a bite as well. Yeah, I'm being super aggressive with these fish now. We can't lose the lead. So let's try and reel them in as quick as we can. Maybe risk the old line snap here. I was wrong, it was a mirror carp. It's only 15 pounds. What's that gonna put us up to now? 161 pounds, 39 pounds to go. Can we get this magic 200 pound mark, guys? Right, found reeds eventually. Was that a line snap? Did somebody hear that? Uh, number two still on the go. Oh, there it was. It was number three. The line snapped. I think we've got a bite at number one now, though. It doesn't rain, but it pours. This event lasts 15 minutes. Really good. The first five, pretty bad, actually. I shouldn't really complain we're having so many fish on the go at the same time. Later on in the game, uh, the Wolsey event, the Predator one, that one is so hard to do. You can be sitting there waiting for fish to bite for 10, 15 minutes and can get absolutely nothing. But this one we're doing really well, so yeah, somebody stop me complaining. Can we get this guy in? I'm virtually trying to drag the guy out of the water at this point. And we got him, it was virtually a flying fish. It's another leather carp, it's only 11 pounds. So we should be into the 170s now. Yeah, 172, we've got two minutes to get to 200 pounds. Can we do it? Must remember to check on line three if I get the chance. After that line snapped, I paid no attention to it whatsoever. It could be in gravel, it could be in silt. I mean, it could be in reeds, but who knows. Right, what have we got on number one here? Oh, I think we've got a bite on something else. Which one is it? I think number two's moving. Yeah, it is. Right, if we can reel this guy in quick, we may get number two as well. Yeah, we've got an awful lot of fish today, but no named. I was really hoping we'd get some more named. Take a few more off my list. I'm not sure how many are actually getting out of this lake. Right, we got this guy. Oh, ghost carp. Oh, mirror carp. I'm really bad at identifying some of these carp. It was a 24 pounder. Oh, we're just shy of 200 pounds. 197 pounds, four ounces. We are so far in the lead, we're in a different competition. Right, let's quickly get number two in. We've got just over a minute to do it. This is going to be touch and go. Yes, 
Yeah, I'm going all out here. Virtually trying to drag this guy out of the water. I'm really risking a line snap here. I'm not bothered. We've won the event. I just want to get to my mini victory of £200. We've got just over 30 seconds. Can we get this guy in? Oh, we got him. 20 seconds to spare. What have we got? Quickly, get him in. Which is away. Please, more than three pounds. It does. 15 pounds. Eight ounces. We've done it. There's only a couple of seconds to go. No point in recasting. And actually, there we go. The event is over. 213 pounds, 11 ounces. We caught an awful lot of carp. What was the best we got? £29.12. Not a bad one. Shame we got no named ones, though. That's another victory in the championship. Another 100 points. So we've extended our lead. If you've had a good time, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for some more Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Bye, guys.